I had the great privilege to be master of QE2 for a number of years, and no finer ship have I sailed in. I name this ship Queen Elizabeth II. May God bless her and all who sail in her. But I travelled in her for only a mere fraction of the 5.8 million miles that she herself travelled. More miles than any other ship in history, and I'll wager more miles than any ship yet to come. And I met only a handful of the 2.5 million passengers she carried on her 800 transatlantic crossings, 25 world cruisers, and countless other voyages. She was conceived in confusion by an almost bankrupt Cunard. Analysts in the city looked at this and were quick to condemn. She is a white elephant, fit only to be mothballed, they cried. Well, how wrong they were. The ugly duckling, sneered at by many arbiters of taste for her vibrancy and the stark departure from her state predecessors turned into a swan. She became the most famous ship in the world, greeted by thousands wherever she went, and she went everywhere. Her life was filled with drama. She went to the Falklands. She was threatened by a blackmailer. We found some rocks in Martha's Vineyard, and we survived a 96-foot wave. But whatever the storm, QE2 sailed resolutely through it. But the day which had to come one day came on the 11th of November 2008, and I was on the bridge to take QE2 up Southampton Water for the 726th time, the last time. And as she headed slowly towards home, she grounded, only momentarily, on a sandbank that she had never looked at before. And to me, she was saying, I really don't want to go. And as darkness fell at the end of a final day, at her birth at her home port, we turned to face the sea and edged down Southampton water for the last time. And thousands upon thousands turned out to see her off, to wave and to cheer. They filled the Mayflower Park, and they filled every vantage point on each side of the water for miles. They sent off rockets and lit bonfires, and as far as the eye could see, flashbulbs popped in their millions. A flotilla of boats followed us all the way to the sea, but she didn't want to go, I didn't want her to go, and not one of those who came to wish her well wanted her to go either. But go she must. It was time to say goodbye. Non c'è luce in una stanza quando manca